Well, that's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching, for your time, and of course for... Hi there, folks. In this video, we will speak about another reinforced form of full Persian 6-in-1 weave. This time it will be a weave called Wind Worm. Well, that's how it looks. And now, let's start. Well, all worms are using the same pattern in the beginning, so it's a simple full person, 6-in-1. Uh, if you don't know this weave yet, you can search my channel, there is a tutorial for it. But now we will start um, quickly with a full person. Four closed rings, uh, two open rings. Let's close the ring. And another ring. Let's close it. Let's add another open ring here in the center. Let's close the ring. So the ring is closed. Now let's add another open ring here. Now let's close the ring. Well, there it is, our basic full person 6-in-1. Nice shiny basic element. So now let's squeeze it like that. You see we have a cross of four rings. This one, this one, this one and this one. So the next inner ring will go um, through all the rings, but we will start from this one, this one. So it will go inside this ring and over this one. Then it will go inside this one and over this one. Then it will go inside this, over this, inside this and here we will close it. So, let's start. Here is our open ring. Inside. Over. Inside. Over. Inside. And over. Over, 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 over. And inside. And over. Okay, now let's close the ring. So, the chain is still a little bit loose because we have only one inner ring, so let's double it. Let's add another one. It's easy. It's really, really, really easy to do that. Here. Let's close the ring. Okay. Uh, now we have two inner rings here in this uh, step, in this element. But now let's add two more rings from another end here. But there is a small uh, trick here. When we rotate this element like that, uh, to get appropriate re result, we have to start uh, from this ring, from, from this ring, from this one. Not from this one, but from this one. And in that, in that case everything will be nice and smooth. But the point is the same, so the ring goes inside this ring, over, and again, uh, sorry inside, over, and then inside again, over, over, inside, 
over and in inside again and now the ring should be closed we should close the ring let's close it okay that's our last ring let's double it there is another open ring to double rings it's easy it's easy to double rings the first ring is so so but all others they are really easy so now let's close it well that's it that's it we can see a structure of the chain already but it's not oh now we got to proceed with a full person so so let's take open ring and let's add this ring to uh, these two rings let's close the ring and now let's do the same operation with this next open ring here let's close it well that's the last two rings this one and this one and the next open ring will go here I hope everything is clear so let's do it here is our open ring here let's close the ring and of course as you already understood this ring should be doubled so that's open ring and I will place it just as previous ring here let's close it so again we have a full person element so we have our cross as you can see and we have to add another, two more rings starting from this ring let's close the ring let's close it and of course the second ring of this part I think you got the point so I will do it quick without any explanation let's close the ring and here it is congratulations guys and girls you did it now you know everything about windworm. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching, for your time and, of course, for your support and comments. So, have a nice day. See you next time. Bye-bye.